If I'd known. If I'd known. If I'd known. If I'd known. If I'd known that when Cameron was arching his back and screaming that they were the signs of meningitis, I would have gone and woken the doctor up in the middle of the night. If I'd known that meningitis could disable or kill my daughter within 24 hours, I would have taken her to hospital immediately. If I'd known that my patient had meningitis, I would have arranged immediate care. If I'd known then that teenagers could also get meningitis and not just babies, I would have gone to the doctor sooner. I was diagnosed with hip meningitis at the age of two. I'll never forget that day. He had blood in his nappy and he was feverish. We took him to the doctors and they thought he had a bowel infection. We took him to the doctors again in the afternoon and that's when he had developed diarrhoea and vomiting. And that's when he started to arch and he screamed that distinctive scream that I never want to hear again. Within 24 hours, Ash went from being this happy, playful six month old to being limp, listless, staring at me blankly in my arms. My patient, a six month old baby girl, presented with the symptoms and signs of a virus that I'd seen in many children previously. My mum tells me that I'd been very whingy. I wanted her attention, hadn't been eating all day and was very drowsy and then vomited up a clear liquid. I woke up at three o'clock in the morning with a pounding headache. My neck was extremely stiff. I developed severe diarrhea, constant vomiting, and eventually an extreme sensitivity to light. I went to the doctor who told me I had the flu, even though I had a rash on my chest. My mum put me to bed and when I woke up, I had a very high temperature my back arched as stiff as a board and then my eyes rolled to the back of my head. If I'd known then what the signs and symptoms of meningitis are, I would have questioned what the doctor was telling me and I would have sought urgent medical treatment. When mum brought the child in the next morning, I could see immediately that she was unwell. She had uh, funny little flicky eye movements which indicated a serious underlying disorder and it was clear to me that she had meningitis and we had to act immediately. As a result of meningitis, Ashley has cerebral palsy, epilepsy, she's never walked, she's never talked, she's profoundly deaf, and she'll require full-time care for the rest of her life. If I'd known the signs and symptoms of meningitis and acted quickly, he wouldn't be a teenage toddler. I know I'm lucky. Some people survive meningitis with lifelong disability. I didn't know about the disease meningococcal meningitis. I didn't know anything about the vaccine. I was diagnosed with meningococcal meningitis. I now know. 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 I was lucky in a couple of ways. Firstly, my mum taking me straight to the doctor, and secondly, my doctor acting on the symptoms straight away. I now know what I've always known, that the signs progress so rapidly that it's critical that you act immediately. I now know that being aware of the signs and symptoms can make the crucial difference between life, disability, or death. I now know that it's vital that parents get their children vaccinated. Make sure you know what we didn't know then. Know the signs and symptoms of meningitis. Know to act quickly. And know the important role of vaccines. Together, we can stop meningitis worldwide.